What's up guys, welcome back, Zlatan Ibrahimovic. Ibra, don't mess with the Zlatan. So, I'm on the landscape page, use a pencil eraser, hit pause if we go too fast. Portrait of him, close up on his face, head and shoulders, right? So center point of my page is about here. We'll go up over to the right, and we start with his eyes. So he's quite small eyes, like when he's got that serious look on his face, right? He frowns, looks real serious, squints his eyes. It's like he's looking at your soul. <laughs> So, let's start with his eye. Curve a line up, over, down, right? And he's got this, it's quite dark on the corner here because this is like his eyelashes, right? So you wanna just thicken this a little bit. A little few eyelashes there. Right. So, Tear duct here, but of course Zlatan never cries. So it just comes up that way. They're not in use, these tear ducts. And then this comes back down and up to there. So like really slender, skinny eyes. His pupil. So we just go sort of here. Right, and then up the other side, like so. And there's people somewhere in the middle, so we'll put it sort of here. Small. Right, so he's frowning real heavily, right? So we've got like this sort of frowning sort of eyebrow line that comes across here. Right, his eyebrows sort of stick out this way and back up. A little bit hairy at the front. They're not like... super thick or anything, but they come... up that way and then down. And then we got like an eyelid line here and another. So it goes underneath his eyebrow, then back here. All right, and then bottom eyelashes. Just these sort of dashes and dots and stuff down here. And then he's got sort of light lines just underneath his eyes. And like his temple sort of comes out the side here and around. Like so. So we'll attempt to do this over here. So you're going over eye width again. So measure the width of his eye. That fits in between both of his eyes. So this distance will give you the distance between his eyes. So you want to start the tear duct about here. Now it's the whole eye. So it's like the edge of the tear duct to the edge of the eyelashes fits in between. Okay. And then you'll do another narrow skinny sort of eye again. And this is eyelashes at the, at the corner. Like that. Tear duct here. And then again, a very skinny bottom eyelid line. Like so. And then his iris pupil. Iris in there, and then pupil sort of peering up. Like so, 
bottom eyelid line, just like these dots and dashes. And then a frown eyebrow going that way back here. And then this goes back for the eyebrow back here. So he's frowning real heavy. And then we have an eyelid line there, here. And this kind of goes around for the temple, the side of his head. Light line like that. And then he could have a bag sort of underneath his eyes. Try and make his pupils roughly the same size because they look kind of insane otherwise. So frowning. Frown lines coming across here as well, like his forehead. Okay, so his nose looks, it's kind of crooked, right? So we've got like a bump, it's like he got his nose broke maybe at some point. So coming out from here, bumps out a bit lightly down like that. And then the other side goes in a bit more. It's not the same, so it goes in that way. Okay, and it's just like these light lines there. And then his nostril on this side here and on the other side there and these are joined together by a point tip of his nose and like you can darken up the nostrils a little bit and then the nostril on this side comes up and like so and then on this side. And like so. And then we got like these light lines just for the bridge of his nose. And on the side of his cheeks there. These others. That kind of a thing. So, mouth then, so smiling, right? So, but flat, kind of serious, like a smirk, confident sort of. So, we go underneath the inside of his iris, there is where you want to start. comes across kind of down in the middle Oop. so it's relatively flat until we get to this corner here and it kind of like smarks up that way and then you can see a little bit of his top lip so like underneath his like goatee but it's like very narrow and it just comes that way and then his bottom lip. Like so. So his chin, he's, he's quite a long face, right? But like in general, eyes to nose is about the same as nose to chin. So here to here, it's probably his eyebrow on this because he's frowning so heavily. So this and this will bring it to chin level and it is kind of a hairy sort of chin because he's got like a goatee so, but it, and it's pointy right he's got very pointy sort of features right like that and then his mustache sort of comes around close to his nose
and right across this top lip then. similar down here so just like this hairy goatee coming around his chin just zigzag spiking sort of lines and with some random sort of hairs coming up the side of his face Right, and then his jaw, so real strong jaw. So it comes up to there, about mouth level. Like so. And about mouth level, it curves around. So about here, it starts to like curve up. Like slow. And he's got like high cheekbones as well. So these kind of curve out this way and down onto his face a bit it looks like his cheeks here and again some stray sort of random hairs just on his goatee sort of area there Okay, so his hair is like tight tied back. So we've got like these V's for sideburns just beside his eyebrow, right? And then the top of the ears, when it, when someone's like looking straight at you, top of the ears are usually in line with the eyebrows. Right, so the ears come down this way. And the bottom of your ear lines up with your nose, the tip of your nose, usually. like that and then he's got like ear lines on the inside like so kind of like a letter J sort of thing and you can make it more detailed if you want like so right and then his hairline so your forehead is usually the length of your nose. And it's the same in this case, even though his nose is quite long. So, let's say so anyway. Then to your nose, both the same size as your forehead. So he's got tied, tight, tied back hair, okay? So the best way to do this is just this kind of zigzag lines that come across the top of the forehead and down the side. So down to the sideburn there. And like that. Make some more wrinkles on his head and stuff. And his hair is like tight, tight back, like slicked, very tight. Tied back on the back of his head. So it goes, it's quite like, it's kind of like he's bald or has a shaved head. But it's kind of a little bit bumpy because the hair is kind of, you know, got lines on it and stuff. So it just curves around his head like so. And then you can add sort of textures to all this just to show the direction of his hair being sort of slicked back. Which 
just darkening up his top eyelid line a little bit. Right. Okay, so he's a strong dude, right? He's big, thick neck. Works out a lot. Does Taekwondo, as far as I know. So, neckline comes right down from his jaw. It's quite wide. There. Neck muscle lines inside. Adam's apple. Like so. Okay, trapezius high up on his neck, the line with his chin sort of starts that way, like so. His collar of his shirt round, I think he's currently with AC Milan, so I think they have a round collar. And then it's got another like sewn sort of area to it. There. And then it's trapezius will go down this way. Keep going like underneath the shirt. And then his shoulder sticks out here. Shoulder sticks out there. Like so. So if you want to add AC colors, if you want to add a crest, it would probably lower down than this. You can. And what is the AC's crest? So it's like, we can add a star maybe. Well, there's a line that goes, there's a line that go, goes this way. Sorry, now if you hear noise in the background. Line that goes that way. And we'll go with, we'll do a star. We could just see it here. Right, so I can, the top of the crest is there. And maybe like, there's a puma tail. Stick it up that way. And then you can thicken up some of your edge lines, tidy things up a bit. Oh, right. Zlatan. Hope it's helpful. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.